Hey y'all, welcome to fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson six. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. Remember, when there is no line under there, no fraction, that you need to put it over a one, okay? Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna reduce. So three goes into three once and three goes into six twice. So when I multiply straight across, I get one over two. Boom, done, okay? All right. Three goes into three once, three goes into nine three times, multiply straight across, get five over 12, okay? Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice, multiply straight across, get two over seven, okay? They're trying to get tricky with these guys because eight doesn't go into 20 and 20 definitely doesn't go into eight, but four goes into both of them, so. 4 goes into 8 twice, and 4 goes into 20 five times. So now when we multiply, we get 5 over 2. Well, 2 goes into 5 two times for 4. 5 minus 4 is 1, and my denominator stays the same. Don't let them trick you, okay? I'm going to skip number 6. Um, I'm going to do number 7 um, just to show you guys. So you can reduce more than once in a problem. So you see these two numbers right here, they're the same. So they're both gonna be ones, okay? Now, six doesn't go into nine and nine doesn't go into six, but three goes into both of them. So three goes into six twice and three goes into nine three times. So now when I multiply straight across, I get two over three, okay? So you guys are going to do through number 10 on your own. You guys totally can, I believe in you. Okay, so Karen writes three-fifths of the yard. Minnie writes a third of the amount Karen writes. How much did they do? So three-fifths and one-third of that. So we're going to go through and we're going to cross off the numbers that are identical. And then multiply straight across one-fifth of the yard. Okay. In the pet show, three eighths of the pets are dogs. Of the two thirds, have long hair. What fraction of the pets have long hair? So, three eighths times two thirds. Okay. I see two numbers that are identical, so those are the first ones I'm going to cross off. And then two goes into two once, and two goes into eight four times. So, when I multiply straight across, get one quarter. Uh, one quarter of the pets, okay? So, now, it's trying to give you algebra, which is silly, because it still gives you what that value is. So, 7 eighths times C, but it tells you that C is eight. So all you're gonna do is do eight. You're gonna put a C, or an eight where C is, and then I'm gonna put it over a one, okay? So now, eight and eight become ones, and you wind up with seven, okay? So, T is 8 ninths, so I'm going to put 8 ninths times 3 quarters, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to reduce. Well, 4 goes into 4 once, 4 goes into 8 twice, 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 8, or sorry, 9 three times. When I multiply straight across, I get 2 thirds, okay? You guys do 15 and 16, you totally can, okay? It's telling you what the letter is, it just run it over to the side, okay? It's giving you a taste of algebra, okay? So, Jason ran five-sevenths of the distance to school. Sarah ran four-fifths of Jason's distance. So, five-sevenths times four-fifths, okay? See those identical numbers? Cross them off, but ones, okay? When we multiply, we get four-sevenths, okay? Um, what fraction of the total distance around the tract? And so I guess four sevenths of the distance. Okay. And a group of students attend a math club. Half of the students are boys, and four ninths of the boys have brown eyes. So half times four ninths. Two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. I'm going to multiply straight across and get two ninths. Two ninths with brown 
eyes. Okay, I'm going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. You totally can. I believe in you. And it says, what is the quotient of 18 divided by 1,000, which is all that says, okay? So I'm going to write 18, and currently I'm going to put a decimal right there because putting a decimal right there doesn't change anything, okay? Now, when we are dividing by a number that starts with 1 and ends in zeros, then all we have to do is move the decimal, okay? We move the decimal the same amount of times as it has zeros. So there are three zeros in 1,000. We're going to move it one, two, three times. New decimals there. There's no number here, so we put a zero. Oops, sorry. That's a zero, one, eight. Okay? Not as bad as it seems. Okay? A machine produces 1,000 bowling pins per hour. Each is valued at $8.37. So now we're multiplying it. Okay? So 8.37. Okay? So now we're multiplying it by 1,000. Okay, but well, when you're multiplying it, you're going to move the decimal this way, okay, to the right, and you're going to move it the same amount of times as it has zero. So one, two, put a zero, okay, dollar sign, okay, eight, three, seven, zero, eight thousand three hundred seventy dollars, okay, all right. He said eight and a half cups of flour. He used five and two thirds to make bread. How many cups does he have left? So eight and a half minus five and two thirds. Okay, well, we need to have a common denominator, which between those two is going to be six. So I'm going to rewrite it. Okay, eight with a denominator of six minus five with a denominator of six. So to get the two to a six, we had to multiply it by three. I'm going to multiply the top by three, and I'm going to get three. I had to multiply this one by 2, multiply that by 2, and I get 4. Well, 3 is not going to take away 4, so I need to borrow 1. Okay, so 7, and I'm going to add a 6 over 6, which would give me 9 over 6, minus 5, and 4, 6. Okay, so now 7 minus 5 is 2, 9 minus 4 is 5, and I keep my denominator and cups. Okay. Okay. Blue Lake Trail is 11 and 3 eighths miles long. Gemma hikes two and a half miles each hour for three hours. How far from the end of the trail? So first, let's find out how many miles she hikes. Then we're going to take that away from the 11 and 3 eighths. Okay. But first, we're going to do two and a half times three, okay? So I'm going to turn this into an improper fraction, multiply it by three. Two times two is four, plus one is five over two. And I'm going to multiply that by three over one, okay? So five times three is 15. Two times one is two. Two goes into 15. 7 times for 14, 15 minus 14 is 1, and I keep my denominator, which is 2. So now, that 11 and 3 eighths minus 7 and a half, okay, so now I need a common denominator. Well, the common denominator between 2 and 8 is going to be 8, okay? So I have 11 and 3 eighths minus, I have to multiply this by 4, multiply that by 4, 7 and 4 eighths. Okay, three cannot take away four. I need to borrow one. Ten, and I'm going to add an eight over eight because that's what the denominator is. Okay, so now I have 11 over eight minus seven and four eighths. Okay, so now 10 minus seven is three. 11 minus 4 is 7, and I keep my denominators. Okay? 3 and 7 eighths of a mile. Okay? All right. Pause it. Write down your work if you want to write the bottom part on top, because Miss Leah probably should have. Um, so swap that around to the top and 
just flip their side. Um, there you go. All right. Thanks for hanging out for 7.6. Come on back for 7.7. .7. See you soon.